I'd like to speak a little bit about listening. And I think that in the terms of human communication, listening is a skill that far transcends actual speaking. Everyone can speak, but do people truly listen? We all have the capacity to listen. And as we listen, we may think we understand or we, we don't understand what the person is saying, but the key is truly to, to try to understand. If you don't want to understand somebody, they know it. And it just shows you don't care. It shows they're nothing to you. But listening implies a bit of accountability because as soon as the information is transferred, then you have to ponder or reflect or take in the information. And sometimes we don't want to hear it. We may need to hear it, but we don't want to hear it. Because sometimes the information is either giving us negative feedback about what we're doing, or it's information that's going to affect us, it's going to impact us. So we don't want to let it in. But we're all like that, right? All human beings are very wary about what and who to listen to, why, why should I listen to this person? And in school, we're put in these classrooms and we're, for years, you know, sit in a desk and listen to this teacher at the front who supposedly is going to teach us something or know something. But maybe they don't. Maybe they don't have the best in their hearts for you. And if you know that, why would you listen? Parents, they teach us things, they share things, do we listen? It all involves the relationship between the people and how far we trust people and, and what kind of uh, relationship that we have with them. And people can sense how much other people are listening. They're trying to gauge how much they're paying attention to what they're saying. And in this world of constant communication and cell phones and, and this explosion of communication technology, human beings have gone from you know, listening to nature and listening to one person to almost listening to a whole world and listening to this TV set that's inside your house and listening to the radio and listening it's a sense. And how you structure your mind, how you make sense of the world has a lot to do with your listening, who you listen to, why you listen to them, what do they say to you, what meaning does it have for you? Do you act on the words or do you just deflect and don't allow the information in? Create that cognitive dissonance wall that stops any information that you don't want in. And that's really important to understand in terms of how your mind works and how this world works and how communication works and how you and your ear and your mind takes in information and then what do you do with it? That is at the heart of being a human being.